Hello and welcome. In this video series, I want to give you a visual introduction into the world of algorithms. We will not only be looking at various algorithms from many different areas, but more importantly, we want to get an intuitive understanding for how and why they work. The series is primarily meant for beginners who are still interested in delving deeper into the subject matter. But before we can get started, we first need to answer the question, what are algorithms in the first place? In my opinion, algorithms are the heart of computer science, because what is computer science all about? I have some problem I want to solve using a computer program, and ideally this program should work as efficiently as possible. And here we are, right in the middle of questions from the field of algorithms. Because an algorithm is nothing but a concrete procedure, a kind of cooking recipe to solve a certain problem. This means that an algorithm is not about the concrete implementation or program, but rather about the idea behind the program. In other words, an algorithm can be implemented in any programming language. What will this video series be about? My goal is to show you the field of algorithms by using concrete examples. So for example, we will be looking at several sorting algorithms, an absolute classic and the basis for many other algorithms. We will look at different data structures because choosing the correct data structure can decide whether an algorithm is going to be efficient or not, or another big topic, graph algorithms. More theoretical concepts like amortized analysis or dynamic programming won't be overlooked, but I always want to show you these concepts using concrete examples. When we look at a certain algorithm, for example, one that finds the shortest path through a maze, we are usually interested in two aspects. First, does the algorithm actually work correctly? This might seem obvious, but often it's not easy to verify. For example, how can I be sure that my algorithm always gives me the shortest path and that there cannot be an even shorter one? And the second aspect is the usage of resources. This typically means two things. First, how much time does my algorithm need? And second, how much memory? Today, memory consumption is not as important as it used to be, but when it comes to large amounts of data, space should not be neglected. These two aspects, correctness and resources, is what we will be looking at in this series. A small disclaimer, we will not be able to avoid some math. This means that we will, for example, conduct small proofs in order to understand why an algorithm is correct or has a certain running time. Don't worry, you don't need a lot of prior knowledge, but it is useful to have at least some experience with terms like factorial or logarithm. Also, I will skip some mathematical details or make them at least optional, such that you can skip them, because in my opinion it is much more important to have, for example, a feeling for why a certain algorithm is more efficient than another, than to be able to precisely work out its running time. If you want to delve even deeper into specific topics, I can highly recommend the book Introduction to Algorithms. Much of what you will be seeing in this series is at least partially from this book. So much for the introduction. In the next video, we will focus on the question, how can you compare two algorithms that try to solve the same problem? I will see you in the next video.